Yeah, we did so much in just like a little period of time. It was almost like a Disney movie. I was almost expecting after the show to have some spaghetti with you and then get to the last (laughs) strand. (laughs) And then look at each other like, hey, (laughs) we can't do this. Yeah, we can't do this in public. Let's bring this inside. What the hell? I got to get a deep tissue massage. Like I've never had one. How are they? They're freaking amazing. Like they hurt, but they feel good at the same time. That's what my wife said too. You know, because it gets rid of scar tissue and, and and, I don't know, emotional baggage maybe. Maybe? <laughs> well, I don't know because it's still lingering when well, I like leave. we're going down to the childhood trauma on this session. Let's keep it going. So okay. you're gonna quit your job. What's the meal you have before you go up to your boss and say, I'm done? Um what? sardines. Sardines. Because it's probably not gonna end well, so I want them to have a lasting impression <laughs> lingering when I leave the office. You know what I mean? Like that guy smell like fish. <laughs> Trout mouth, mother. <laughs> Trout mouth. <laughs> oh, God. You know those MGM movies where the lion roars? That's how I tried to do it, but I don't feel like it quite had the same effect or impact. So I'll try again. I feel like you guys are saying, try again, Stefan. Roar. Man, my roars are ferocious, but that's not atrocious. And I, my podcast is not atrocious either. So there we go. Hey guys, Stefan from a comedy advice podcast here coming at you hot with another episode. It's not going to be a musical. So don't worry. I'm snapping right out of that. However, I want to just give you a little bit of an intro and give you the new guest. Well, he's not new. He's old, but he's not that old. That's not a crack at his age, Uh, but it's Lamar Mitchell Jr. What a fantastic person. And I feel like he and I have become pals, good friends and amigos, if you will. And it's been incredible. I mean, it's been instant magic since we first met and we've been continuing to conjure even more spells and potions of laughter, chuckle spells. And it's been awesome. And guess what? I have a very important announcement, details to come later, but Lamar and I are actually going to do a show together at the House of Comedy, September 8th, 7.30. Be there, my friends, or else you're on the blacklist. That's it. I'm going to go after your liver. I think that's what the blacklist means. No, I think it means murder. But I don't want to murder you guys. I want to kill my audiences with laughter. But I don't want to kill them with death. You know? Are you understanding what I'm saying? I really hope you are because I don't know if that explanation will hold up in court. However, what will not hold up in court is this amazing episode. Because it's just too cool for school. And you guys are going to have a great time. Lamar, follow him, support him. Go see his other shows that he's got going on. He's got a lot to plug here. And... Go see me September 8th. I already told you about that show. August 26th through the 28th as well. I'm going to be hosting a JP's Comedy Club. Don't forget to follow your boy Steph on Instagram at a comedy advice podcast. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a review. Tell your friends. And, you know, I'm thinking of doing some additional content, guys. So if you guys want that additional content, holler and ask, you know, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. And be like, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want Stefan to stop like a Spice Girl. So I will. That's how I'll do it. You know, you just got to tell me what you want, what you really, really. Oh, verse two coming into play. But before we get to that, I'm going to get to the main chorus, which is this episode. Here we go. Dude, I'm so glad I made you sit in my spot. I I usually, no, no, no. I don't want to anymore because... Um, no guest has told me how furry this thing is. Oh, I feel like my cat just fucks the microphone or something. It's just so... <laughs> I just jump on it when I'm not looking. Just, like, just get out and rub his balls it. on the leg. <laughs> yeah. This feels good. Oh my God. Just a big black mic and it's just rubbing all over against it. It's crazy. I mean, I would too Ooh, if I was the cat. like something she said the other night. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well we are recording by the way oh, you can man. get closer to the mic you don't have to be okay. so shy cool, cool. you can actually move the move mic the closer, mic to, closer you. to me it moves to you and i'm la- i'm very sonorous mm-hmm. yeah my friends call me sonorous steph sonorous steph. they don't nobody <laughs> does i'm trying to get it to catch on but it hasn't yet <laughs> so what do we have to do to make that catch on? i don't know dude i was thinking of blending it together like sonosaurus, sonosaurus. so i could be like 
the dinosaur, the loudest dinosaur. That's the scariest one in Jurassic Park because it's just like ah, God, freaking ASMR type shit. Like. It's played by uh, Gilbert Gottfried. That oh, would be that would the be worst. Too. Yeah, yeah. I I like him, but I I feel like that's one thing that's a real turnoff for me. I couldn't be with a friend that talks so annoying for real and like he literally sounds like that doesn't he like in all the every, time i know as far as every movie i've seen him on interviews you know tv whatever he sounds like that I, but when i was younger i had an appreciation for gilbert godfrey i can't think of what what was it problem child he played on with uh ritter Oh, I don't um, remember. All I remember him from is Aladdin and Hollywood Squares. Oh, wow. Hollywood Squares. That's 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 taking it back. So. Yeah, that's taking it <laughs> way back. But no, I mean, he's just, he's being his true authentic self, which exactly. is aggravating to me. But I'm sure his Alexa packed up and was like, I can't take this shit anymore. That's I was like, funny. Alexa! You're right, because therapeutically, they tell you to be your true authentic self. And when you're annoying, like, how does that work? Out? Like, you know what I mean? Like, look, I'm just being myself, man. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine a therapist is like yeah. be your true authentic self but to a point yeah. there's a limit Tone okay it down a little bit you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> Put it about a five like you know you're uh, a 10 all the time <laughs> exactly keep it to at least a 6.5 right. but you know what you and i we're gonna be a 10 of and course. we're gonna be a 10 on what a comedy advice podcast with me Stefan satani i'm your host joining me this evening is the lovely Lamar Mitchell Jr. Whoop, whoop. Oh, thank you so much. I didn't have any more breath to be hype man, so I was trying to go for a wah, 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 but I was just like, <gasps> so I'm so glad there was synergy there. That was great. The, the, the language guy ran out of breath. He, he ran out of words. I do have to translate this in Italian and Portuguese, so okay. I'm like, eh, questo podcast ci sei Stefan Setani e Lamar Mitchell Jr. Goal! <laughs> That's dope, dude. You got to teach me another language. Oh, dude, we're going to get into it. I might not do a good job of uh, actually saying shit, you know what I mean? But I'll do my best to sound the closest to it. It doesn't, like, even if you have an accent, your voice is so mellifluous. It's just oh. so silky and smooth. I feel like you could say anything. Yeah. If you could just record me a five-minute voice message just saying, reading the news, hey, reading the latest how are book. You, Stephen? I'd be like, I've, oh, I would be in REM cycles <laughs> like that, man. See, like, well, if you saying that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed by the way that you speak, the different words that you use. Oh, you speak different languages. You have the the charm and everything, and then you like my voice. Like, dude, how do we fuse that together and get just like one powerful, like a uh, Lamar Stephosaurus? Voice? Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh my God, I would That'd love be that. Amazing, bro. You know what? I mean, we're here on this podcast. Maybe. Maybe I could kick out my old co-host, and then you could be the new co-host. Shit, let's do it. I don't even have a co-host, so I you could be. I didn't think so because I had never saw anyone else. <laughs> my personality is so big; it usually sits in that chair right there. So it sits in every last one of the chairs. <laughs> yeah, just sometimes me. I gotta bring in another chair because I'm just so much. <laughs> That's why these sound concern. panels are here because I gotta block my own reverberations. It's just right. Steph all over the place. All over the place. Oh man, it's but dope. I'm happy to have you, man. And man. by the way way your episode with jasmine just dropped maybe last week yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it was awesome yeah i was I editing it and i was like man these guys are just too cool for school yeah and then that was pre me going on your show and then i got to guest host right yeah we did so much in just like a little per period of time it was it was almost like a disney movie i was almost was. expecting after the show to have some spaghetti with you and then get to the last <laughs> strand <laughs> And then look at each other like, hey, you know what? We're two guys. We can't do this. Yeah, we can't do this in public. Let's bring this inside. What the hell? But it was funny. it was magical, man. Yeah. And you and Jasmine have such a good show. It changes all the time, which is yeah. awesome. Because yeah. the first time it was bringing comedians on. They got exactly. a topic. They got yeah. to talk about whatever it was related to dating. Then it was the game show mm -hmm. where there was a civilian. Yep that was asking comedians questions and yeah, chose yeah. the funniest one. Yeah. So originally the, um, the show started out like that, where it was just a game nice, show. Nice. Um, that's kind of what we brainstormed, but it was so hard booking for that. You know what I mean? To get oh. a male contestant, a female contestant, and then all yeah. of the, um, the comedians. So it was yeah. very hard booking it. So one day we were 
I think we were short people. So we was like, hey, let's let's try it podcast style because we had been discussing possibly doing a, a podcast. Nice. Um, we had um, we came up with some names for it. And I think we kind of narrowed it down to like one or two, but we just never um, did it because, you know, our schedules kind of conflict. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. That was my yeah. question. I was wondering why you guys didn't do it. Are you guys yeah. thinking of starting one? Or? I don't know. I don't know. It would be nice. Um, you know, I do a lot and I know um, with her regular job, I know it's kind of demanding. You know mm. what I mean? Um, so, see. you know, hopefully we can even do another shoot your shot. You know what I mean? I don't know uh, how that looks. We were doing it monthly at one point. Yeah. Um, we did have some low numbers uh, toward the end of the, you know, yeah. pandemic where things were closed. Um, so they bumped us one month and then they had us come back the last two shows. And then, uh, you know, I was I had the situation with me where I yeah. had to step in and then Jasmine was sick the last time. Um, but I, the way that we did it the last time. So basically I go, I went in and then the show stopped. Is that it had what nothing I'm reading? To do with you, okay. Sir. Okay. Thank you God. are excellent. You are excellent. <laughs> like I got so much good feedback from you hosting that, that night too. You know oh, what I mean? so it was good. Let it me get my good. fishing pole and fish for a couple more compliments. Right? <laughs> what did they say? Could you no, say it specifically? You really, you really, everybody enjoyed. <laughs> oh, it's a big one. Uh, you up there, like for real. It was oh. like, dude, he's funny. Uh, he's charismatic. You know, I got a lot of good feedback. You know what I mean? And then they were like, "You're all right. You're cool. <laughs> You're cool." <laughs> Well, like, okay. consider my ego stroked. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Let's have some fun. spaghetti later. We sure um, will. We sure. You got meatballs, though, right? Oh, dude, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. They're <laughs> tiny, but I got them. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, I mean, on top of that, you're also a comedian, and yep. you've been just crushing it. And yep. in, uh, in the not just local scene, you've done shows in. Yeah. You went to Denver. You did one. I was talking with Jim Perry, and he was yeah. like, "Yeah, Lamar and I did a." Because I was telling him good stuff about you. I was like, "Man, that voice." is like silky smooth <laughs> and he's just super funny yeah. and uh he's got great material and he's like yeah he and i did a show in chicago and yeah. sold out yeah so. we sold it out it was a very good show because we were both able to capture all our friends and family um from back home nice. um interesting nice. thing is he went to school with one of my cousins so when Dang. he found that out and she's like jim my cousin lamar does comedy and he was like what i already know lamar it was it was it was pretty dope. Uh, shouts out to Jim and uh, JP's Comedy Club. Uh, it's a good guy, man. He's he's trying he's, to put on for the city, and I uh, yeah really appreciate that. So he's he's really good. I just did my first hosting job mm -hmm. at JP's. Five shows. Nice. He wasn't like I'm going to give you one. He's like you're going for all five. Yeah, that's like, what he does, and that's good. That's pretty good. To uh, you know, a lot of the comedy clubs are you know. How long have you been doing it? You know, they, they mm -hmm. want to know all mm -hmm. of the stuff that you truly don't matter because if you got a gift like you, like when oh. I needed somebody to step in um, and host for me, I was like, oh man, I didn't even, I don't even think I thought of another person because oh, my just God. based on the podcast, the way you are, just, you know, I mean, when you interviewed us and then yeah. just your podcast in general, I was like, oh yeah, he'll be an excellent host. Oh. He'll be an excellent host. And you, you killed it, bro. You know what I mean? And when you came back, and man, I got good feedback back. Like people were like, "Oh, that guy was funny," or you know what I mean. Oh, so, yeah, you 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 do well, man. So I like the the meeting. You know what I mean. At one point, I was like, because a lot of my friends were getting interviewed by you, uh, uh -huh. Phil and uh -huh. all of them, and I was like, "Oh, I got to meet this guy." You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I had been, you know, that's really. Oh, this is like such a romantic story. We're gonna pitch it to yeah. Disney afterwards, yeah. but. Like <laughs> But like I same thing on Instagram, I would see you. And then I think it was Philip Jewell, which mm -hmm. I, I love that guy to maybe not as much as you. It's like up there. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I wouldn't share a bowl of spaghetti with him. Maybe like some <laughs> lasagna. Yeah. You know, just... If you heard Philip's story that he told me today, you probably wouldn't want to <laughs> share no spaghetti with him. <laughs> oh no did he do something unhygienic he literally called me probably about 20 minutes before i i, I got a <laughs> call from you um but he has some situation where he he has back pain so he went to a massage parlor to get a massage okay but unfortunately they were not really looking to you know give him a, that type of massage you know they uh oh to give him some some extras <laughs> oh my god the bonus features yeah and, oh and the story you gonna have to call that guy that that was it was absolutely hilarious that <laughs> hilarious. is that <laughs> is astonishing i didn't know there were those types of places maybe you could uh, oh, tell man. me what it was afterwards I, I, I'll, I'll get you that <laughs> but the fact that
fuck he sent it to me and it was like sketchy. I'm like, dude, how in the hell did you not look at that flyer <laughs> and know what type of place that is? Like, <laughs> I'm going to show you this flyer. I was like, wow, this is nuts. Like, oh my God, that's literally. hilarious. I, you know, I didn't, uh, my wife and I, she was having some joint pain. Oh Lord. Like you. Oh Lord. Can, can the camera see Yeah, please that? show that to the like, camera. If, that. <laughs> if, if you don't know, that's not a place that does. Bonus? Extra? Regular massages? <laughs> <laughs> no trigger points. <laughs> oh man. The endings are nothing but joyous, I think, in those man, places. Yeah, yeah. And he left with back pain and $85, uh. Of nothing, cause he, you know, he's got a girl. He's not trying to, but she, she robbed him. He got robbed. <laughs> he literally got caught with his pants down. That is for real. <laughs> literally, it was nuts. It was oh a funny man! Story. Le- I mean, attention, listeners across the galaxy, all the way from Australia to Houston. Do we have a pube problem? If so, our friends at Manscaped have cleared you for takeoff with their fourth generation and brand new lawnmower. 4.0 kick your pubes to the next planet with the performance package 4.0 the orbits in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity when you use the best tools for the job from the leaders in male grooming join the two million men worldwide who trust manscaped and get your rocket ready for takeoff by going to manscaped.com for 20 percent off plus free shipping with the code acap now i've tried to trim my clackers with regular trimmers scissors heck even just yanking them out But you know what? Each time there's blood or tears or both. So guys, don't be a silly goose. Be a smart duck. Get the new Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. This spaceship is here to guide you on a journey to trim your body, balls, butt, and even Uranus. I'll tell you what, I got one and I used it and I went on several trips around the galaxy. Abort hairy balls and buzz lightyear that Woody with Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code ACAP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code ACAP at manscaped.com. For a clean trinity and beyond, your space balls will thank you. Since you guys cover dating and and those topics and the Shoot Your Shot show, Mm -hmm. is that cheating if you get a bonus feature? Uh, when you're going, if you get dessert with your entree, I, yeah, I would say yes. I would have yeah, it's to gotta be. So, you know, I mean, if it was just on the surface stuff like they usually do, they just you know do a very good job of rubbing lotion on your kneecaps. But you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically all they do. Like and then it's like, can you can you go a little deeper? And they're looking at you like, uh, you're supposed to go deeper, not me. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's like no, I want a deep tissue massage. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, man. My wife, she gets deep tissue massages. Oh, I do too, bro. From oh, do you? Yeah, I gotta get a deep tissue massage. Like I've had. Okay, okay. Um, I've never had one. How are they? They're freaking amazing. Like they hurt, but they feel good at the same time. That's what my wife said too. Yeah, She's actually sore the next day. Yeah, but it's it's a it's a different type of soreness, you know, because it gets rid of scar tissue. You yeah, and, and and I don't know emotional it, baggage maybe bro, <laughs> that too. Well, I don't know because it's still lingering. When well, I like, we're that. going down to the childhood <laughs> trauma on this session. Let's keep it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some strange reason, it's still lingering. I <laughs> sessions like I was supposed to get through this. <laughs> now I'm crying all day. <laughs> Oh man. Well, um, dude, it's it's really good to have you here. Man, I and appreciate you inviting me on, brother. We're gonna get into some advice. Are you ready for advice? I am with it. That's I part of the it. podcast, the comedy of advice podcast. Now, you know what? I usually like to start and get us centered before we answer questions with an inspirational quote. Okay. okay. However, I wanted to mix it up because why not? I guess. I don't know. I felt like we need to spice things up. Our relationship was getting a little too solid. So right. I thought, let's <laughs> bring some different things, some spices into this studio. And so this is called Inspirational Meal, where I am curious, I've never thought of this before, but I was like, you know what? If I'm about to do something, I want a good meal that gets me in the mood to be able to do that thing. Okay. Okay. Like, okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple scenarios and you're gonna tell me which meal you would have. Like the ideal meal. What's a great meal to inspire you to? And I swear to God, I wrote this beforehand, not knowing what was that. Breaking up with your girlfriend. Let me change that one. Get um, first anniversary. 
first anniversary. Yes. Now? How long have you been going out with your your girl? I don't know. Oh. Uh, by the way, um, the girl is in the spot. Cass- shout out to Cassie. <laughs> I did look over to her. I don't know if we were supposed to. <laughs> uh, I would love the answer. How how long? First time we went out was February fifth. February. Oh. The first time I came out to your show was December twenty third. Oh. Wow. Um, Okay, so so Cassie, you saw him first, December twenty third. Did you, th- did you think, okay, I like this guy, or were you like, no, oh, I got a picture that proves otherwise. <laughs> really, what is the picture? Uh, I think she was giving me a side hug, but it was like distance in between it. Or what was it? No, 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 no. You just took a picture, and she wasn't even a hover touching. hand. It was like, no, it, was not even it yeah. wasn't even any connection. Like, yeah. yeah. To be fair, though to take well maybe to take cassie's side that wasn't a pandemic point so maybe she's like i don't want to get this guy looks a little dirty she didn't have a it mask on oh man when she didn't tell she probably took a picture with somebody and i didn't almost... see her for that that <laughs> duration until february 5th from what it was it the 25th <laughs> yeah. oh man Okay. Okay. No, I looked at the picture and I saw that there was distance between us, and I was like, "Yeah, she's not in." That's what you're like. No, this is not a spaghetti type of girl. This is uh, okay. Okay. It was something that just did not click with her. But uh, then there was a click. At some point, the seatbelt reached far enough for a click. Yeah. Do I don't need? What was the click? No idea. I have. Oh, yeah, 80s music. That's what she told me. She said, oh, I would ride around with you just listening to 80s music. I was like, dope. When That's like the a... sweetest thing I've ever heard. It really was. I even uh, downloaded XM Radio in my car just so that I can get an 80s station. That's even, even sweeter. I don't even found the 80s station because <laughs> I don't ever remember riding around with her listening to 80s music. So it was just. It's never too late. You guys have only been together a couple months. I mean, that 80s music is calling. I agree. I it's agree. it's not going anywhere. But yeah. but okay, first so, year anniversary. Anniversary meal. Yeah. Um you know what? It would have to be surf and turf. Oh. Steak and maybe lobster. Uh okay. steak and crab legs. Well, probably steak and lobster. Okay. I mean, as far as me and her, we we've had uh, uh, a lot of lobster in our duration of uh Oh, you know, hanging out. Yeah. We've okay. Been in Atlanta. We, uh, oh, I thought that was a euphemism for something. Oh, no. We've been, we've been yeah. lobstering around. A lot of clawing. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of she, deshelling. She, yeah. We, we literally went to Atlanta one time and we had a fried lobster tail like everywhere fried we went. Fried lobster yeah, tail. It was amazing. Oh. Yeah. I had, I made them at I'm my salivating. last show. At my last show that I had that uh, I brought out, uh, did I just have oh Terrence Delane oh yes I've heard that great show, things I was I wasn't on the show it was just oh. basically the we major part of things okay I like to have that separate from me being a comedian so I'll produce uh, shows without me even being on them even Terrence like dude why aren't you on your own show I said uh, this is we major brother I'm back here frying lobster tails and, <laughs> and french fries I've got important matters at hand like I haven't literally was at the mic doing a mic check with freaking uh flour all over my fingertips it was crazy, it was crazy. Oh, I, I can imagine you with a little apron kiss yeah. the chef yeah. you know what i just had on my regular clothes i was so pissed because i thought i looked good that night and i had flour all over me butter stains yeah, just the, i was i was working a lobster was, claw on the neck yeah, exactly Dang so, man. so yeah i think that surf and turf uh would probably be our our anniversary thing Okay. All right, cool. So you're about to quit your job. This is the next one. Okay. You're going to quit your job. What's the meal you have before you go up to your boss and say, I'm done? Um, what? Sardines. 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 You know what with sardines? I want to make sure my mouth smells extra toxic when I'm, I'm speaking to this individual. Because it's probably not going to end well, so I want them to have a lasting impression. <laughs> lingering when i leave the office you know what i mean like that guy smell like fish you know what I mean? like, <laughs> he smell like fish <laughs> I, trout mouth mother <laughs> tr- <laughs> trout mouth. <laughs> i don't know what i was expecting but that was the most satisfying answer too yeah, man, you gotta, you know, go for the gusto if you're gonna do it you go might for- as well go for the gusto 
that you know, if you're gonna do it uh, storming that off look mother <laughs> i'm leaving the yeah. shift's not over i know <laughs> son of a sardine yeah. that's beautiful dude <laughs> I feel, and then the, what is it? The olfactory senses, exactly. your your nose, it triggers. Mm-hmm. That's one of our best senses for memory. Yeah, it really is. When you smell something, yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it can bring you back to childhood. Really so that guy true. forever, whenever he smells sardines, he's yeah. going to be like, Lamar. He left with a whole lot of damn work on his back. <laughs> that asshole. I was buried for weeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> I'm not going to leave with my my job all the way up to tack for the next person to come in and have it easy. That's I had to dig myself out of this mess. <laughs> you should too. <laughs> so what what type would you have sardines just straight out of the shoebox or can or yeah, whatever it's I'm, called? I'm peeling that freaking can back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Probably put some uh, mustard in there. Mustard and crackers. Cause, Is that delicious? Know, yeah. It's actually pretty good. Mustard, crackers, and sardines. It's oh. not bad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to try that because I used to be like a ketchup sweet guy but now i'm like a mustard mm-hmm. as bitter as you can get yeah, type yeah. of guy sweet and i feel and savory is a is, a, is a, a good balance you know what i mean you can uh, yes yeah you know if you eating all sweet stuff then you missing out on a whole lot of good stuff so you gotta you know how to savory too that's a beautiful inspirational quote yeah you gotta have feels like savory too. <laughs> gandhi should have said that wow lamar well done we should just end the podcast right there that was amazing Sober. shut it down <laughs> done all right Mic see drop. you guys next week <laughs> all right we're gonna go in, i feel inspired now so we're gonna go into these questions mm-hmm. i've actually prepared dating questions mm-hmm. because okay. um you know we're experts in that so this first one is what to do on a swim date Okay, so here's the situation. I, 20-year-old male, met this girl, 19, on Tinder, and the first date went great. We got along really well, and I got her to laugh a lot. We said we would love to go out again. Date ended with a hug after I dropped her off. Aw. We went out again today. This time, we went kayaking and then some ice cream together. It went well again. She said she wants to go swimming with me at the lake tomorrow, and I'm nervous. She has a really nice body, and I'm super awkward when I'm nervous. Also, what are you supposed to do when you go swimming with a girl? It's the third date, and it's getting to the point where I really want to kiss her, but I don't know how to initiate touch or anything like that naturally while swimming. I'm pretty bad at reading signals. LOL, what should I do? Be funny. Ask her if she's down a skinny dip. Because oh. that right there will let you know. You know what I mean? And then you can you know, clean it up. She say, oh, no, you're a creep. I was just playing. You know I'm a funny guy. I was just, you know, being funny. You know, we're in the lake. It's just me and you. You know, let's do it. You know, I was just playing, you know. But <laughs> I like how you turned in. mafia boss yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just playing, you know. Don't hey, let's do it. <laughs> Hey, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, forget about forget it. Forget about it. You know, forget about what I just said. You know. Uh, yeah, I would probably throw that out there because if you have been cracking her up and you've been funny, there's a a good chance that you can throw that in there and make it seem like you aren't being serious if she's not receptive. That's really good. I think the first time I heard that was from a Nelly song. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. clothes. I can't remember the line, but it was like, do you want to do something? He's like, nah, I'm just playing. Unless you want to do it. Exactly. I forgot what it was. Maybe it was swimming, going skinny dipping. Who knows? That's just going to be on my brain now. I know, me I'm too. I'm going to call you later on. Like, hey, this is what he said. <laughs> and I will thank you. I will thank you <laughs> so much. Because yep. it's going to be on my brain too. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a pretty good answer. I feel like if you're in there and you're swimming, I would probably... I would make sure that the water is going to be not too deep so that nobody drowns because if you don't know how to swim yeah. you're in trouble you can't bring floaties on a third date yeah no that, that wouldn't look too maybe bad. you can hide them on your ankles or something well, no. so they don't look and she say something about him like why do you have no those are ankle weights those, <laughs> yeah they're there to help me tread better <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. i'm so good at swimming might as well exercise while i'm here babe <laughs> <laughs> did you see my muscles did you right? see my calf muscles <laughs> they're huge russell the love muscle have you seen them <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Anything anything else? You're swimming. I think the joking is good. I think the ankle weights, I mean, floaties are good. Right. I think the I don't know. I maybe try and just uh maybe before you get in the water, try and initiate a look. Yeah. And oh or if she's like, "Oh, I can't swim," and she grabs onto you, mm-hmm. That's either she's drowning or she wants to kiss wants you. To kiss you. Yeah. So either way, I mean, yeah. I think give her a little kiss. Yeah. 
Cassie has some advice. What were you going to say, Cassie? Get a raft. Oh, yes. Invite her on the safe raft. But didn't you already go on a raft with her? What was the... They went kayaking. They went kayaking. Well, yeah, yeah. They get, maybe get like a, a floaty. And she One wants of the, to not... swim, though. She wants to swim. So you have to, you know, look, you can tell her, you know, I don't really know how to swim, but I trust you. So I'll go out in this water with you. You know what I mean? You can create that whole trust. Oh, I like I mean? that. Just, Hold on to her legs yeah, as she's exactly. swimming. You act like and just the ride that they, wave. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and if she if she starts to drown because you're bringing her down, just let her know. Hey, you know that's what I would do even in a regular relationship. <laughs> yeah, don't worry so, about it. I would do this to a total stranger. But bring you down anyway, <laughs> girl. <laughs> this is just a harbinger of what's to come. It's just total drowning. Okay. Well, good. I feel like we nailed that one. So. <laughs> We're going to go into this next segment, and this is called Positive Spin, because a lot of times when bad things happen to us, we start to think of the negative. So I like to train our brain mm -hmm. to think of positive things when bad things happen so you can start to be constructive. I agree. That's one of my biggest things. There's uh, always more positives in a negative situation, and people don't see that. I love that. Man, mm -hmm. dude, you really are a philosopher of our That's age. the counseling in me. I've told one of my clients that before. <laughs> are you a <laughs> counselor? Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Substance abuse counselor. I haven't. Look at you. Right now, I, uh, I'll do it probably every four to five years before I get annoyed and need to do something else. And then I, it calls me back. And then I go back and do it. So, Oh, man. That good. I'm seeing that heart and I'm seeing the halo start to just emanate so yeah, above right, you. Right, uh, yeah. Saint Lamar, I might call you from there now we on. Go. <laughs> Saint Lamar. <laughs> you got to put a roll on yes. the heart. Santo Lamar. Santo Lamar. <laughs> oh, I like this. It I works. like this. All right. So this is the negative scenario, Lamar. Okay. Your house, it gets infested okay. with tiny horses. What? Tiny horses all over the place. Just making a ruckus, kicking dishes, just bucking <laughs> around. Oh, so cute, but oh, so much trouble. Just bucking all over the place. Hmm. How do we see the positive in that? Do you, you can go to someone. If anybody has a problem with you having little tiny horses running <laughs> rampant around your house, you... Do you have tiny horses? <laughs> you don't? I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm like the only person that has tiny horses. Yes, they ruin everything, but those things are material. We can replace them. You know what I mean? Do you have tiny horses? Oh, you don't? Oh, you don't? Oh, I didn't think so. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have regular horses? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've got tiny horses yeah, over here. Tiny horses. Little <laughs> miniature horses. They're so small that you can barely see them. I'm riding two of them right now. They're like roller skates. <laughs> Yeah, you know, incredible. Tiny horses are cool. I, I think that would be a good thing. I think that would be great. I, the only thing that I'm worried about is the poop situation. <laughs> mm. If the, if I can train them mm. to use the potty, mm -hmm. I feel like that would be the best. Yeah, or get because, like a litter box. Do they use litter? How many tiny horses would we have? What's the number on that? Because it would be kind of hard to. Oh, it's infested. So I would infested? say at least thirty. 30 tiny horses you can imagine. like you can barely name them all yeah it'll yeah. take you some time you can a do it a couple of them you think are, are, are the same are ted or john or whatever you're like yeah. oh, no i'm john dude are you, you cheddar me ted. or <laughs> mozzarella i'm not sure Ch oh you're pepper jack okay yeah, all right yeah. yeah so it's like you know you probably would have poop around your house because you can't find you know 30 horses you know that's a lot of anything. dumb yeah yeah, it's, yeah. yeah so probably, you just live with it you learn to live with it you learn to live with it um, maybe you can, you know, um, give them a corner and put like a little doggy gate up or something. Like oh, that. You know I, mean? I love that. Oh, yeah. Like those little stable doors, like in out West, the saloon, like a little saloon. I don't know if horses pass through there, but it'd be cool to see horses just go that through the saloon cool. doors. And yeah. And you can put little saddles on them. That'd be freaking amazing. Oh bro. man. Little, little bitty saddles on them. Oh, that's beautiful. And then you could bring people over. They can put a quarter in the tush and then they can ride it. Hell That'd yeah. be amazing. Just like, just like at the Walmart, except they're real. The yeah, real experience. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jade. Are you I'm riding so my horse? <laughs> Get off my horse. Get off Pepper Jack immediately. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like we nailed that one. So we're going to move on to the last question. It says, facial hair. Yay or nay? I'm 20 years old and a male, and I've never been in a relationship. 
I lift weights at the gym and have a very muscular body. Maybe girls don't like this as well. I keep trying to get in a relationship, but it just never works out as they always turn me down. I notice all my friends who are in relationships have no facial hair, and I'm wondering if I should shave it off. I have kept a very nicely trimmed goatee. I'm a ginger, by the way. My father says facial hair is making me look way older than I am, and I need to get rid of it to be successful. For all of you in relationships, do you prefer guys with or without facial hair? So... I think the best let's let's before we say something, let's direct this one to Cass and mm -hmm. Cassie. What do you prefer? Facial hair, no facial hair. I think he's talking about that he's a ginger and that he came from a <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Just in case that didn't get picked up on the mic, Cassie said his problem is he's a ginger. And that's fair. Yeah, I feel like ginger. and she that's true. I'm half ginge and I appreciated that joke a hundred percent. All the way through. I saw a whole family of gingers one day at Safeway. Oh. It was freaking cool. I was like, wow, this oh. dude's hair is as red as I don't know. And his sons and his other son. Like, wow, that's strong genes. Do you know what they call a group of gingers? What? They call it a flame because it's sort of like a little. <laughs> well, they call Lindsay Lohan fire crotch at one point. <laughs> Uh, she it? she burns a different Paris, type of fire. Yeah, Paris <laughs> Hilton and them got into that little beef. She called her fire crotch. Oh man! You know I, I'm one of those guys. I don't have a beard, and you know I've always kind okay. of admired people with beards. But then um, recently, okay. a friend of mine uh, shaved off his beard, and he looked absolutely ridiculous. Um, I kind of oh. think it's like catfishing women. That's probably why they prefer you to have the clean face because they know oh. what they get you know what i mean like i saw you in your photos you didn't have a beard at one point tell you know me what, what you I mean just, yeah so you look great and i'm sure your wife oh. was like oh you know what i like that guy with no facial hair so when you grew it out she was like yeah he looks like a real man now you know what i mean <laughs> that's you know what yeah that's See, kind, me, of like, I, kind of I the case i had half of a mustache all the way up until i was 33 years old and then the other half grew and i was like wow this is amazing now i got a real mustache oh. that i can line up now you know what i mean it's a strong stat does yeah. it naturally go low right there or do you I shave it shave it but it doesn't really get too too much bigger than that or higher than that so uh looks great man yeah I, i'm cool with it because i feel like i'm 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 my true authentic self. Oh, like nice. Like Gilbert Godfrey's voice. Uh, <laughs> I got a mustache. I got a stash. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I feel good that, you know, if I do eventually grow one, which probably never happened, I think I can grow my hair for the, a whole year and it's not going to even get to your status. I promise oh, man. you. That. Like, I can't get this. I, this doesn't even connect. At one point, I was shaving huh. where I have these kind of go up a little higher. Oh, and it okay. Looked like it wanted to connect up here. Yeah. But it was like a party blocker or a hater or a cock blocker. And they were like, nah, we're not going to. This we're going to. We're just done. like a wide left going yeah, down. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. So, yeah, I, I can't grow it. So, me, I think no beard. Uh, she should probably agree with me because if you're dating me, I'm the only person that you're going to see. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. Because I have no problem being anti if I feel like it. But She's no, I agree with the catfishing thing. Because if you meet him with right. a beard and you're like, oh, he looks really good. And then one day he shaves it, you don't know who you're dealing with. And it mm -hmm. might change the whole think. perspective. Yes. But if you yes. Have a beard, then it's like, okay, more of the man I already want. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like a one thing where it was all the girls were about the beard gang like it was a full facebook yeah, post and stuff like yes. a group and stuff and like i couldn't even enter the group to see what the potential was you're and like hey i'm over here I'm over here like, nah, buddy. you can't do get it get out of here tiny horse yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know you know I, I feel i heard somebody say this and i think it's kind of true diving a little bit into it beards for men are like makeup for women yeah. to the point where you could if you have a little bit looks nice but if you've got this much it's it's hiding a lot of who you are <laughs> yeah. and i saw this tiktok or instagram video of this guy that looked very dashing mm -hmm. he had the long flowing hair up top mm -hmm. and he had this nicely crafted beard yeah. he just looked like um one of the sexiest dwarfs i've ever seen yeah. <laughs> and then he shaved it and he has no chin <laughs> He looked so goofy. Yeah. He looked. I was like, "Oh no, that's not the same." Guy. Like at one point you look tough, and then you shave it off, and now you look like you can't bust a freaking grape. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's exactly. Like, Dude, uh, exactly. I don't feel protected anymore. You need to grow <laughs> exactly. your beard back. <laughs>
<laughs> exactly. I feel so, I feel very fortunate. I think God, Buddha, and Allah all at the same time <laughs> right. that I have at least somewhat of a bone structure down there because, I mean, I could always just grow the beard out anyway, mm. but... Yeah, it's a it's a tough thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you imagine, you know, you go somewhere and you know everybody thinks you're a tough guy because you got this beard and you got this menacing look because nobody can really read you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you know you, your girl, you happen to mess up, and then you have to shave it all off. Then you go to that same bar oh. where you look like a tough guy, and your your girl's like, "My man, I kick your ass," <laughs> and they like, "Yeah, all right." Yeah, I'm, I'm really scared. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're talking about the guy with no facial hair? Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. guy? <laughs> yeah, all right, sure. Yeah, once he graduates from high school, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I feel, yeah, I feel maybe for this guy, maybe he's too muscular. Maybe he's so muscular that girls are just like, I don't see boyfriend material in that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What about you? You think a guy that's, it can be too muscular? Okay. He has everything to do he's, with how he's projecting himself. And without knowing him, without touching him, it's hard to see it. But if he's so focused on what he has and he has these muscles, he's not actually understanding how people can see him. Mm-hmm. And that's what's putting him off. That's what I think, too. In his lack of confidence, that's, that's probably mm. used very loud. That's what I think, too. I, I totally agree with that. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. If yeah. that did not pick up on the mic, well, too bad. You guys don't get to hear it. But I... <laughs> It's it's what he's projecting himself to be. I it's not it. his actual appearance, and I agree with that because I feel like there are so. I mean, Ron Jeremy, he was a horrible, ugly piece of poo. Ooh, but yeah. I mean, the confidence and just how he portrayed himself mm-hmm. is. Uh, well, I don't know if he was boyfriend material. Maybe that's a different story. But. <laughs> he's obsessed. This guy's obsessed with his muscles to the point where he's in the gym three times a day, and he's like, I just have to look like this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want my man to ever be more vain than I am. I want to feel like a woman. In the, I need to be more high maintenance physically. Yes. Yes. I, yeah. I'm kind of old school that way. So he might, that could be it too. No, I think that's pretty fair. Yeah. You can't be like, babe. Let's let's go to dinner. And he's like, wait, I just got to pop these veins first. Got to get just you know pop, get a little pump on. She hasn't noticed that anytime she say, I'm running a little bit late. Um, you know, I'm still doing my hair and makeup. I add an extra thirty minutes to my time because I want to. <laughs> I'll do her. You're right. I need a little bit more time myself. Ah, uh, you do. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I need a little t- more time to myself. That's that's fair, man. <laughs> I gotta outdo her. Forget that. I like that. I like that. That's good time management skills. Yeah, being a, all fresh today and matching myself. Because I wanted to match my daughter. She has on all Nike. Oh, man. My Nike son. squad. Yeah, I should have squad put my it Nike up. stuff. Yeah, That's yeah. why I, was, I had to wait. Mm. I did have to wait on him mm-hmm. today. So she did. Oh, you had to wait on Lamar. I was not lying. I was brushing. <laughs> Lamar, eh? What's up. up, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you look beautiful. I won't, I, I won't deny that. But the mustache, you almost look French with that mustache. You look so sophisticated. You, you sh- know, I want a handlebar mustache. That's one thing I do want. Oh, no. I want a freaking. Oh, no. Man. No, 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 no. That will end. That No, I'll see the spaghetti stuck in the handlebars. And I'll be like, this is not happening. Moment ruined. It'll just be done. So I like that the way it is. But you know what? I'll still I'll still have love for you. Okay. Even no, with the no, handlebar. no handlebar mustache, yeah. But you know what? I think it's time to grab onto the handlebar of this episode and drive to the end. Let's Thank you, Lamar, so much. Yes, of course. For of being course. on this podcast. Man, it's always a pleasure working with you, brother, in all capacities, man. And we got some more work to do out here in these comedy streets. Oh, heck yes. Yeah, I feel man. like Iron Man, Captain America, we're def- yeah. we've got some uh, crowds to slay. You I know? agree. I agree, man. That's how it goes. But where can people follow you? What have you got going on? Um, right now I have, uh, of course I have my monthly show at Stir Crazy Comedy Club, um, the first Wednesday of every month. Okay. Um, it's an open mic, um, and a book, uh, show. So we have three booked, uh, comedians and then we have eight open mic spots, um, that open up the first Monday of the month at noon. So whoever gets chosen through the online sign up. Um, will be on the show for Wednesday along with the book guest. So I have that every month. And then, you know, as far as Shoot Your Shot, it's kind of in limbo. I'm not sure if we're going to bring it back or if we're going to get another date. Um, 
But it was a great show um, while it lasted, if it doesn't uh, um, come back. But I, I think we kind of ended it, you know, the right way. We, yeah, we had pour a, one out for Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had a very good last show, um, if that was the last show. Yeah. Um, and then I, I, I do um, have my own promoting or production company called We Major Presents, which you can uh, uh, check out on uh, IG. Um, so I do a lot of shows that are... I'm not necessarily on. I uh, try to bring some guests from out of town. And, and then, you bring the lobster. Yeah, and okay. I just I make lobster tails, huh? I was getting there. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> let's, let's wrap it up here, bud. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, just the, kidding. so the next uh, show shoot uh, for We Major Productions is going to be July 24th. We're going to bring out Slink Johnson from uh black jesus the show oh, on comedy central oh, uh, with nice. camara white and and uh jared campbell uh it's Ooh. a stellar lineup everybody enjoyed the last show we had um so i want to do that as much as i can of course my uh, next um mike i'm not sure if this episode will air before then but the next one is going to be july the 7th and then of course in august we'll have one that first wednesday as well nice um as far as shows that I, I I'm booked on, I have a very shitty memory. So uh, for the most part, I be I look out for an uh, uh, invite. To no, say, you know hey, what? You're on this show, right? It's, here. <laughs> it's all oh, good. Yeah. You, you know what I'll do is before this episode pops, I will make sure in the intro I'll ask you, be like, "What do you got going on?" Then I'm like, "Lamar, amazing comedian, great mustache. She's got these shows coming up." So yeah. you know, we'll just we'll okay. make this magic. Okay happen for our wands yeah. yeah but you can follow me on ig that's probably the best place j underscore ridiculous eight zero it should pop up lamar mitchell it looks like junior but it's jr jr stands for just ridiculous oh is that what it stood for yeah. at one point i was just going by just ridiculous and then i kind of got away from that and i liked how lamar mitchell jr sounded you were like that's so, just ridiculous let's yeah, go exactly, with something okay exactly. a lot of people get it mixed up with junior but i'm not a junior it's a long story but Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Unfortunately. Well, we've got time if you want to go into it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not Junior because my name is Lamar D. Washington originally. My dad was Lamar D. Mitchell. So when I was born on my birth certificate, it says Washington. So it's no way I can be a junior without oh, having the full name. You dang. know what I mean? But they always called me JR. Okay. But not junior. Like people will say junior, and I'm like, nah, that's the guy down the street. I'm not junior. I'm Jr. Dang. Um, so when I got into comedy, I kind of went with just ridiculous. Um, when okay. I was, when I was younger, I had a friend. Uh, or some girl asked me, "What does Jr. stand for?" And I had a buddy that said, "It stands for just right." So oh, so okay. Said that. And I just kind of, you know, was playing with that, like just ridiculous. I thought nice. that was funny. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's fair. Well, what a cool origin story, man. Yeah, it was. I'm not Junior. So, if you put Junior on a flyer and I told you it's J.R. Please go with it. Go with it, guys. Go with it. JR. Just, <laughs> just roll with it. Just, yep. There we that's, go. That's what it is. <laughs> just roll with it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank you so much, Lamar. Thank yeah. you, Cassie. Thank you, thank you Jade. For being here, our little audience it was great. I didn't hear a single laugh from you, Jade, so I'm a little bit disappointed, but it's okay. You can come to the next one and just giggle it up, okay? There you go. <laughs> or, or not. That's fine. You don't have to. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching, listening, and we'll talk at you next week. Bye bye. It was fun, man. I need to do some pistols. That's what I got. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Laser guns. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much. For listening for making it all the way through for pushing it out and just being able to to hold on tight and trust me i feel like that big ass dog in the never-ending story and you guys are riding me so and i i feel it and i feel like you guys are there you're not trying to jump off and jump onto another giant ass dog you guys are hanging on to my mane and just enjoying the ride, really. It's so maybe taking one hand and making it go through the clouds and you feel it as the wind goes through your hair. Maybe you're bald, so the wind just hits you in the face. But, you know, it's fun. It's fun for me too. I like being ridden like a big ass dog and uh, I, I like that you guys are doing it. So thank you to all of you. You, mom, uh, Jerry, 
from across the street. Thank you for listening. That was a great chat we had last week. And thank you to everybody else. All of those names that I didn't name besides Jerry and mom. You guys are fantastic. Continue to ride this big ass dog. And if you guys haven't yet subscribed, leave a review. Come see my shows. JP's Comedy Club, August 26th through the 28th. And brand new show, September 8th at the House of Comedy, 730. Lamar and I are going to be putting it on. Don't forget to support Lamar. And don't forget to buckle up. A lot of people just forget that. So if you guys are in the car right now, whoopsie, I forgot. Stefan's here to remind you. So I am keeping you safe, keeping you secure, and helping you just live your best life, okay? Big old gooch smooch to all of y'all. Mwah, 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 mwah. Ciao.